According to Dave Ramsey, using credit cards will keep you broke. <laughs> what a joke. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rob here and welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new, I talk about investing in personal finance. Like a nerd. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about, you guessed it, credit cards. So I want to start off by hitting you guys with some knowledge. According to the American Banking Association, there is over 176 million credit card users. And additionally, there's over 370 million accounts overall. You can kind of say that Americans are addicted to credit cards. It's a complicated relationship, but more on that in a later video. This week, however, I will be revealing my top three favorite credit cards to use and I'll also discuss their benefits. I say top three because the entire top five favorite credit cards for whatever, just pick a year, that's kind of outdated, kind of played out. My goal for this video is to hopefully motivate you to go out and pick up one of these credit cards. By grabbing one of these credit cards or even something else you don't, you don't like my, the ones I use, you will be able to reap all the rewards and all the benefits, including travel. You'll be able to build your credit score. And by building your, your credit score, it'll be much easier and cheaper to take out personal loans. Like, like let's say for a, for a mortgage. You get all of that in this video. By the way, if you are interested in one of these credit cards I'm about to discuss, I will leave a link down below in the description. Uh, if you want to sign up for the links, if you want to sign up for these credit cards, just click on the link, sign up. If you are approved, you will get a bonus by signing up. And also I will get a bonus by signing up. So we both win. With that being said, let's get into the video. Coming in at number three, we have the American Express Blue Cash Preferred. This card has benefits on benefits. It has an annual fee of $95, but you easily make your money back 10 times over. By just signing up, you can receive $300 back in cash statement by spending at least $3,000 within the first few months. Now let's discuss some of the benefits that this card has. Uh, so the first number one benefit that it has, it has 6% cash back rewards by shopping at grocery centers. Yeah, that's right. If you are going out grocery shopping, cause you know what? I want to save money instead of eating out. Not only will you save money, but you will also receive money for it. I think that's amazing. Number two, you have 6% back on uh, streaming services, which includes Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, whatever. I know myself and my wife in 2020, we didn't have anything to do due to the fact that we had stay at home orders in our state. So we just, we got that card, signed up for a couple of streaming services and we just got money back for it. Number three, which, <laughs> we all do, we get 3% back at gas stations. We all use cars that we have to fill up. Why not get paid for it? Except for the users who have, uh, for the drivers who have Tesla. And if you have a Tesla, why are you even watching this video? You're rich, just, just go somewhere. Number four, one of the benefits they have is you get 3% back on transit. So transits, that can include ride shares, that can include like, like Uber, like tolls, trains, buses, anything like that. You use your car to purchase whatever and you get money back. And then next we have, yep, you guessed it, MX Blue Cash Preferred smashes the like button. Yes, they smash the like button, they comment, they share with their friends, they do all the things. Be like MX and smash the like button. It will help the YouTube channel grow and it will also help with the YouTube algorithm. And according to NerdWallet, you need between a 690 to a 850 to apply for 
this car and get these amazing benefits. Uh, to be honest, I think I had a maybe an 800 credit score, hovering around 800 credit score. I, yeah, I want to say 800 credit score, and I was able to receive this card. Uh, one one great benefit about American Express, you apply for a credit card, and within 30 seconds, they'll let you know, hey, you are approved just by filling out your information. All right, number two is coming in hot. I have to say this card really set me on a path to actually loving credit cards. Anytime before 2015, I honestly thought that credit cards, all they wanted to do is take your money and leave you broke. But the Citibank double cashback rewards completely changed all that. And I highly recommend after watching this video and let, and watching this video and after I explain everything, you go out and you grab this card. This is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. This card is the most simple card that you will see out there. There's no annual fees and you get 2% cash back for everything. So I'll just break it down. Every time you go out and you purchase something with that credit card, you get 1% back. Afterwards, once you pay it off, you get the other 1% back. It is that easy. Honestly, I've made so much money from my Citibank double cash rewards that I kind of consider it as my sixth income stream. I'm a nerd, what can I say? I believe my credit score was hovering around 700 when I originally applied for this credit card way back in 2015. Uh, according to Nerd Wallet, once again, you need a bare minimum 690, uh, but that can always be plus or minus 10. I think it always depends on your current situation. But yeah, I was hovering around 700 when I was accepted by Citibank. And coming in at number one, we have the Mac Daddy of them all. I am talking about the American Express Platinum credit card. This credit card has the over the top benefits and offers I think you'll, you'll see in any credit card. Whenever you pay for something using this card, all eyes are on you. Fellas, if you are taking a nice lady out to dinner and you use an American Express card, she's going to think that you're balling. Ladies, if you are using the American Express card to pay for whatever for your guy and he's around, he's going to think you're financially responsible and you are that gal. So the Platinum, you technically don't really earn cash back. You can use your credit cards to earn points. And using those points, you can use it for purchases, like for your charges to your car. You can use X amount of points to cover your to cover your your expenses, your charges. But I really don't understand why you would do that. It doesn't really make sense to me. You can use it for travel and hotels, but I will get to, into that in just a second. One of the main benefits the platinum car comes with is. It is the ultimate travel card. What they have is whenever you book your next flight or a hotel through American Express, you earn five times points. And then you can use those points after you accumulate it enough to then buy another plane ticket for free or another hotel for free, which is amazing. Uh, not only that, but you can also have up to $200 in airline credit for the airline of your choice. I'll give an example. My wife and I, we love Delta. We use a $200 credit for it. And whenever we go flying, when restrictions are all lifted, we can use that credit for either part of the ticket or we can use it for food, water, whatever we want on the flight. Uh, number two, what we use the Platinum car for is... Well, Uber, yeah, Uber Cash. American Express gives you $15 per month to use for either Uber, the ride share, or for Uber Eats. 
My next favorite benefit to use the Platinum Card for is the $30 credit they give you with PayPal. That's right, whatever you buy through PayPal, they'll give you 30 bucks. Right now, I'm using it for my subscriptions, my Disney Plus and my Netflix, and I am able to get it free. Perfect. And finally, one of the main benefits of the Platinum Card is that, you guessed it, the lounges. Yes, the $550 fee, annual fee that comes with it. Uh, I want to say the lounges makes it worth it, worth it all. I'll give you an example. When my wife and I went on our honeymoon to Bali, we used the uh, Platinum Card to able to get into these lounges, which I have to say, they treat you like you are royalty. So the lounges are like extremely, uh, extremely helpful, especially when you have a long layover, like two, three hours plus in uh, in, a, in a foreign country or even in the States. So it's it's definitely worth it. So let's talk about fees for a moment. Right now it, it is $550, like I mentioned. However, there are rumors that it might be going up. Do the benefits outweigh the costs? Yes. I will have a, another video that breaks down all the benefits of MX Platinum decision to, to get it or not. When I apply for it, I was hovering around 750, maybe 800 credit score. I honestly can't remember. I've been a member since 2019. But according to Nerd Wallet, you need around a 700 credit score. It, it kind of makes sense. This is the Mac Daddy of them all. This is high tier type of card. All right, so those are my top three favorite cards that I'm currently using at this moment. However, I am more than willing to open up more credit cards uh, because there are so many benefits. There's so many benefits, right? So please do me a favor in the comment section below, write your favorite credit cards that you are currently using. I will take a look at it and I'll, I'll probably sign up for it. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, comment, do all the things. If you guys want to chat, just hit me up on Instagram is robwash87 or on Twitter, which is the black moderate and just slide in my DMs and you know, we can chat about whatever.